Okay, so in this section, right, we are also going to be learning how to find median, uh, upper quarter, lower quarter, and inter quarter range. But instead of finding it from the cumulative graph, uh, we are finding from a smaller data set. Okay, so the, the, the difference between these and cumulative graph is cumulative frequency graph usually have a few hundred of people. So for example, we can see like 120 students, 200 students, all that. But sometimes you, we do not have such a big data. So uh, usually it's a very small data set. So we cannot go by the same methods of finding uh, deep of, with the cumulative graph. So we cannot be doing like 50%, 25%, and then 75%. Okay, so the method will be a little bit different, but they are still the same idea. Okay, so I'll be showing you two examples first. After the two examples, I will show you how this will be linked to a box and whisker. So the box and whisker is usually used for smaller data set. That means we don't have so much data to form a graph. Okay, we just have a very small data. So if you look at 5A, you look at the data, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only got seven data. So seven data is really not sufficient to form a graph. So, but if I will still need the median and um, lower quarter, upper quarter, and the quarter, there's still a way of doing it. But the first thing is you need to make sure that you arrange from the smallest to the biggest first. So that's one of the requirements. A lot of students might forget. Okay, so, okay, this one has already been arranged for you if you realize. Okay, it's from the smallest to the biggest. And you got the odd data set. Okay, what do we mean by odd data set? The number of data is odd. So n is equal to seven. Wait, I wrote something wrongly. I have an extra 19. Okay, so you got an odd data set. So if I want to get the median, it's like the way you do it in SEC2. So in SEC2, you look for the middle person. So in this case, the middle person will be the fourth person. Okay, can you see this one is the, the solo odd one up in the middle? Okay, so you look for the middle person. So out of the seven people, the fourth person is the one that's in the middle. So that will be contributing the median. So from here, you can safely say that the median is 19 mark if the data is based on mark. Okay, so I found my median. From the fourth person. Okay, so once you got the median, you realize that the median is has divided the data into the lower half. So the lower half also got odd data. So you just imagine in the lower half, you got three percent. And the middle one will be the lower quarter. So the lower quarter, in a way, it is like the median in the lower half. So in this case, right, Okay, you set the median already separate into the lower half, then you get the median. And the median also separated it into the upper half. So from the upper half, this one is the median. So the upper quartile is actually the median in the upper half. So you will get 33. So this one will be the upper quarter. So from here, my interquartile will still be the same formula. It will still be upper quarter minus the lower quarter, 33 minus 16. Okay, so you you uh, so in a smaller data set, if like you are finding median. You keep finding the median. So from the whole set, you find the median. And then you get two halves. 
from the lower half, you get another medium. From the upper half, you get another medium. So it's totally different from the way that you are doing it from the cumulative frequency. Okay. So in the next one, okay, in the next one, uh, okay, we're going to explore. Okay, in the next one, we actually got eight data. So it's an even data. Okay, but it's not a range yet. So there are eight data. Okay, if you look carefully, it is not a range yet. So make sure you arrange first. Okay, after the arrangement, you think about your set two. So during set two, for even number sets, how do you get the, the median? So the median will be in the middle. So in set two, right, in this case, the median will be the average of the fourth and fifth. That means you've got to get the middle two. From the middle two, from the fourth person and the fifth person, you are going to get the median. The median will be 21 plus 24 divided by 2. So remember, if there's an even number, you take the average of the middle two person. So in this case, I got 22.5. Okay, but will you still have the lower half and the upper half? Yes, you will still have the lower half and upper half. So this is the dividing line. So this part becomes your lower half. Okay, but your lower half also got even number, four numbers in the lower half. So the median is here. So this is your lower quartile. So the median in the lower half is your lower quartile. So it will still be an average. So you and you will still get the upper half. But your upper half is also even number. There are four person in the upper half. So you also got to get the median from the middle two. So from the middle two, that will be your upper quarter. So you take the average of the middle two. So as long as it's an even number, you take the average in the middle two. If it's an odd number, then it's the one that's odd one up in the middle. So that's how I find my median, lower quarter, and upper quarter. In the quarter, is still upper quarter, uh, subtracting the lower quarter. Okay, so this is uh, when the data set is very small, you cannot form a graph. So the way to calculate median, lower quota, upper quota will be slightly different. Okay, but they still behave in the same manner. Like uh, that is the lower 25%, the upper 25%. Okay, so you keep thinking about finding median of whole set of data and finding median in the lower set of data and finding the median in the upper set of data. Okay, so this uh, smaller data set, how do we present? If the, if the data set is so small, I cannot present it on a graph. So the way to present will be, we present it on um, something called a box and whisker. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat uh, the same procedure. Okay, for this data. Okay, how many data are there? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is even data. So this is under even data. And you look carefully at the information. Has it been arranged for you? Okay. I think it has been arranged already. So my habit is I will space out. So that it's easier for me to find my median. Okay, so step one, I arrange it in order. Step two, I count the data, which I know that is 12 data. After that, I will find my median because uh, I got the full set of data. 
So the median will be the average of the middle two. So it will be the middle one between the six and seven. So in this case, the median will be 17 plus 21 divided by two. And after I gotten the median, we will have the lower half. So this will be my lower half. My lower half also is an even number. You realize that there are six in the lower half. That means, right, if I want the lower quartile, it will be in the middle here. So that will be 9 plus 10 over 2, which is the 9.5. And then I got the upper upper half. Also 6 data in the upper half. Okay, that means if you get the median, it will be in, in the middle of the third and the fourth. So that will be the upper quarter. So the upper quarter will be 29 plus 33 divided by 2. So that will be a 31. And the interquartile range, same formula, 31 minus 9.5. Okay, so all these are very similar to the previous example. Okay, then what about the range? So when we talk about the range, the main thread is the biggest data to minus the smallest data. So the biggest data is 48, the smallest data is 6. So the range is 42. So you need, uh, there's a range from the highest to the smallest in a range of 42. Okay, so when we say range, right, that means how big from how small to how big. So that is the difference. Okay, so right now, if you got all the data, we're going to get a proper number line to cover the range of the data. So the data cover for uh, 6 to 48. So I will be drawing my, my number line like this. So you draw a proper number line first. So the proper number line, you think of it like graph paper. So in fact, later on when you're practicing, you got the graph paper to help you. So you must have some proper scale first. So for example, I will do something like this. Okay, uh, I'm just doing a very rough one. So I don't really measure here. Okay, but you need to measure to make sure it's like same interval. You know, this one is like graph paper. Like graph paper, for example, every five square is like five unit. Okay, so I make sure my number line cover from 5 to 50, which is very sufficient from 6 to 48. Okay, so once you get a proper number line, you will dot the smallest and the biggest. You dot the smallest and the biggest value. So 48 is the biggest, so you can kind of put a dot here. 6 is the smallest. So in a way, you put a dot on six. So people can read off in this way. Okay, so this, the main right, this is the start of the data. Six is the smallest, 48 is the biggest. Okay, then you're going to put a vertical bar for the median, for the lower quartile, and the upper quartile. So what do I mean by vertical bar? Okay, so I show you. Okay, so median is 19. So roughly 19 is here. So you put a bar here, a vertical, a vertical line. So this one is the median. Okay, the lower quartile is 9.5. I think 9.5 is somewhere here. So you put a bar at 9.5. Okay, then you put uh, 31. 31 is the upper quartile. So 31 is somewhere here. So you put a bar here. 
So you actually got three bar. The three bar will join them up to become a box. So that's where the box come from. So can you see the three bar here? So this bar tells you the lower quartile. This will tell you the median. And then this part will tell you the upper quartile. So the bar, the vertical, is like a fence. You have, depends on how you see it or like a partition. So the median is a partition, the lower quartile is a partition, and the upper quartile is a partition. So in the box and whisker, the three partition make up the box. So where is the whisker? This is the whisker. The whisker is joining the smallest to the lower quartile, and you join the upper quartile to the biggest. So this red color is the whisker. Whisker like the cat whisker. Okay, so where does the box come from? The box come from the, the partition, the three partition, the bar that you put for the median, lower quarter, and upper quarter. The whisker come from joining the dots, joining the smallest dot and the biggest dot. So the blue color is the box, the red color is the whisker like the cat whisker. Okay, so what is the interpret? In the what? How do we interpret this uh, box and whisker? Okay, because the lower quartile contain twenty five percent. That means right, you will find that there are twenty five percent of the data squeezed here. Twenty five percent of the data is being squeezed there, from the smallest six to nine point five. It actually contain twenty five percent of the data. Here also contain twenty five percent of the data, but it's not so squeezy. Right, here also contain twenty five percent of the data. Here also contain twenty five percent of the data. Do you realize the last part between the upper quartile to the to the biggest number? Even though it's only also twenty five percent, but it's it's a very spread out. So you imagine the twenty five percent people at the upper at, at this at this part. It's not very squeezy, but the lower twenty five here. It's actually very squeezy. So even though it contains equal amount of data, but you can see that the lower part is very squeezy. So everybody tend to squeeze at the lower part. So in a box and whisker, we divided the data into four sets, 25%, 25%. But from the box and whisker, we can see whether is it squeezy or not. Okay, so that's how you draw a box and whisker. So you will need to know how to draw. Before you know how to draw, of course, you must know how to find median, lower quarter, upper quarter. And then if you know how to draw, obviously, okay, later on, you got to practice the drawing. And then you also need to be able to read a box and whisker. Okay, so you will need to practice this first. And later on, I'll be showing you an example, which they are going to a single question where we contain the cumulative frequency and we also have the box and whisker. Okay, but the technical part of box and whisker, you will need to practice first.